doing my name is Julie and welcome to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this Mobius and hyperbolic ball fidget toy and what makes this cool is that you can keep pulling and pulling from the center Over and over. I mean, I, I think it's kind of. I thought it was cool to. Uh, I saw this and then you just keep pulling from the center. And this can keep your hands busy for quite a while. So, without further ado, let me show you how to make this hyperbolic Mobius fidget toy. To make our Mobius strip fidget toy, you can use whatever yarn and hook size you need. After all, this is a fidget toy. You want to use a yarn that you're going to be comfortable touching. So I've already made two with two different yarns already. So this one is the Mandela yarn. So I'm going to try making this with some cotton, Got some leftover cotton yarn from my uh, market bag tutorials. Hope you check those out. So we're going to start out by making, I'm going to make a chain of about, well, 12. Okay. So the hardest part of this entire project is coming up and that is actually making the Mobius strip. So we're gonna go back to the beginning and I'm going to work in the back hump of the chain. This is too challenging. You are okay not to have to do this, but I'm going to work in, oh, I split the back hump of the chain. So we're gonna start out by making a chain, a single crochet in each chain. So I did a single crochet in the first one. And then we're going to do a single crochet in each stitch. And I'm working in the back lump and I will let you know when I get to my 12, what to do next. 12 single crochets in each chain chain which was the back hump of the chain but now the fun part's coming up or probably the hardest part of the entire project is right now is that even though we have 12 single crochets we are not at the end of our row we are only halfway so now you can see that's the bottom we are going to twist it and work on the other side of the foundation chain so if you worked in the humps and you can see what looks like single crochet stitches so now we're going to do one single crochet in every stitch on the other side of the foundation chain for a total of 24 single crochets so I'm going to do my remaining single crochets and I will meet with you at the end of the row. The hard part is done. Now we're going to repeat this same pattern 
for about five rows or for as long as you need to. So what we're going to do in our first stitch is do three single crochets. Skip the, oh, we want to, because it's the beginning of the round, because we're going to be twisting, definitely want to mark where your first stitch is. We're going to skip one stitch and do three single crochet in the next. Skip one stitch, do three single crochets in the next stitch. And that is it. And you do this all the way around. Three in a stitch. Skip one. And three single crochets in the next stitch. I'm back at the beginning of the row. And it says we're just going to keep doing this for. I'm going to probably do it for about four more rows or, or or more. Pretty much it's the same. We skipped one and do three single crochets in the next stitch. Mark, mark your first stitch so you know we're at the beginning of the round. Skip one and do three single crochets. And that's it. You just keep doing that. For about as five for about five rounds or as long as you want to. And I'll meet up with you when I am about finished. Okay, I have reached the end of my round, and all I'm gonna do, you could do at this point. Just do a slip stitch in the next stitch. Just finish that off. There you have your fidget toy, which looks like a hyperbolic ball meets a Moviet strip. So yeah, and then you can just keep pulling out the center for ever and ever. So if you did like this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. And I want to again, thank you for watching. And I will see you in my next video.